Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, we'll explore different types of artificial lights. In the previous episode, we created the base for our light setup by adding an HDRI and some lights on the inside of the house. Before we start today's tutorial, I want to highlight that you can find the scene we are working on for download in the description below, together with the scene assets. Grab them for free so you can practice at your own pace. To finish the lighting of our evening shot, we'll add different types of artificial lights on the outside of our house to accent the various exterior assets. Since there isn't much light coming from our environment, we need to artificially create some. Let's start an interactive render to visualize the progress we've made so far. By observing the image, we'll notice that there are some parts which are too dark, particularly the side panels of our house. Because of the very bright light sources inside the house, we can see a big contrast between the lightness and darkness. This contrast draws the attention of the viewer. In certain situations, this could be a desired outcome. But in this case, I want the exterior to be evenly lit, so we can focus on the overall image, not just the house. One way we can light up the side of our house is with the IES lamps. IES lamps are mostly used because of their diverse profiles. This is an artificial light that distributes light based on a preset of real-world measurements. To create such a light, you need to have a .IES file which contains the properties of the lamp. After selecting a desired lamp, you can click anywhere on the scene. I will position the lamp close to the wall so you can see its profile. If the intensity coming from the lamp is not enough, you can check this option here and increase it until you're satisfied with the look. You can see that we get a pattern of light coming from the IES that is very different from our typical rectangular light. The IES lamps are generally used to add light detail along flat surfaces, so it's a great idea to add them around walls. Now let's think of ways to light other very dark parts of our image, like the trees. I personally prefer to light up the branches of the trees, so the color of the leaves pop and give the trees some liveliness. To highlight them, we'll use the rectangular light, which we used in the previous episode to cast directional light from the lamp source inside the house. I will create a few rectangular lights and position them. Let's start with the tree on the right. When I light exterior assets, I make sure that the light sources I create are coming from a logical place. In this case, the tree is in very close proximity to the house. Some light may spill out of the windows and light up the perimeter of the house, which include the branches and the stairs. Now let's focus on the left side. This tree is very far from the house, so a logical light source could be a lamp beneath the tree, which casts a spotlight. To achieve this effect, we'll just increase the directionality of our lamp. You have probably noticed that there is an additional structure in the background. Right now, it's just a dark spot. Let's add a spherical light to light up its interior. When creating multiple bright spots in the image, we have to think about prioritizing the intensities of the lights. So let's make it less brighter than the inside of the house. In the next episode, we'll focus on balancing the amount of light with V-Ray light mix. So for now, this will be enough. Finally, I think we're missing some light in our foreground. The rocks and pillows seem evenly lit from the environment, so let's add a spark of light. I think I have the perfect solution. Lanterns from the Chaos Cosmos. Let's increase the intensity of the light from inside the Cosmos asset. Note that if you merge the object, you will get an additional light source in the lighting menu. Because the light coming from the lantern is not enough, I will add a sphere light on top. And here it is, our exterior scene has been transformed. Thanks to the different types of artificial light, we gave our evening scene the liveliness it needed. In the next episode, we'll balance the colors and intensities of our lamps with the help of the light mix render element. And we'll conclude the episode by doing some basic compositing. I hope you found this information useful and you'll use some of these tips to light your exterior scenes. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience.